And now, as we begin the hypnotic part of the recording, you can know that if for any reason at all you needed to open your eyes and come fully alert and wide awake, then you'll be able to do so easily and automatically. You can also know that each time you use this program, it will have a deeper, more positive and more profound effect upon you. Now you can just pick a spot on the wall or the ceiling and begin to gaze at your spot with your eyes in a daydream focus, as though you're looking right through that spot. And as you gaze, I'm going to count back from 10 to 1, and any time before I get to 1, just allow your eyes to close and my voice will go with you now from 10. 9. 8. Nothing bothers you now, nothing disturbs you. 7. 6. 5. Deeper and more relaxed. 4. 3. 2. 1. That's right. Now take a long, slow, deep breath in through your nose and fill your lungs with air and flow it all through your body and hold it and hold it and as you let it go now scream in your mind I am good that's right now breathe in another long slow deep relaxation flow it all through your body and hold it and hold it and as you let it go, scream in your mind, I am. Good, you're doing perfectly. Now you know that pleasant feeling of relaxation. So just allow it to flow into you, over you and through you. And as you do, you can also form a very pleasant warm feeling or color just above the outside of the top of your head and attach it to your mind's eye and flow that warm pleasant feeling or color across the top of your head and down into your forehead into your face into your jaw and around into the back of your head and your neck down into the little muscles in the back of your neck that carry all the stress and the strain they relax and let go as you do and your mind can wander and drift back now as you flow that pleasant feeling into both of your shoulder muscles and down into your arms through your biceps and your triceps into your forearms and your hands and your fingers and then focus back to the top of your neck and move that pleasant feeling into the top of your back and around into your chest and go a little deeper down inside now as you flow it into your lower back into your stomach and all the way down to your hips into your thighs going deeper and deeper now as you move it into your shins and calves and down into your feet you're doing fine let go and follow my count deeper now from ten nine and you don't know eight seven whether you want to go into a deep trance six a light trance, five, a medium trance, four, but your subconscious mind knows, so now your conscious mind can think about anything, three, as your subconscious mind comes wide awake, two, and listens to the sound of my voice and its own reactions, one, deeper and deeper and deeper down. Now just imagine that you're standing in the foyer of a very modern building. And when you find yourself there, you'll notice there are three elevators. And you'll feel very drawn to one of those elevators. 
and soon it will arrive and the door will open. And I'd like you to get into the elevator and notice there are five levels of basement, B1 down to B5. Push the button now and go down to B1, but I don't want you to get there any faster or any slower than what it takes for you to double your relaxation. Good, that's right. Now go down to B2 and double your relaxation again. You're doing fine. And now go down to B3, deeper and deeper down. That's right. And now go down to B4 into a very deep and pleasant place in your mind. And now go down to B5. And at B5 the elevator doors will open and lead out into a lovely floral garden. And you'll notice there a chair or a bench where you can sit comfortably and look up into the blue sky and you'll see the letter S appear in the sky and fall to the ground and take you deeper. That's right. Now notice the letter L is in the sky. It falls down, you go deeper. And then you'll notice an E in the sky that falls and you fall into a deeper trance as another E appears in the sky drops down and you comfortably drop down inside and then the letter P appears in the sky and tumbles out arrives on the ground and takes you deeper and deeper down and near you somewhere is a mirror, a handheld mirror. I'd like you now to find that and to pick it up. And as you look into it, there is no reflection of yourself. You create the reflections of your future. Spend a little time now looking into that mirror and creating your future for yourself in your mind's eye. And your subconscious mind will observe, will watch, and it will put into place for you all the things that you would need and that you would like so you can begin to create your future on purpose. Yes, you will. And when my voice returns, you will automatically go deeper then than what you are now, deeper and deeper and deeper. When you were very, very young, you can't remember the very first step you ever took. 
You don't know where you were or who was watching or what it felt like underfoot or even how many muscles you needed to use to stand up to take that very first step but you achieved it and then the whole world became a different place. Things you had been below you equaled and so you stood up and you learned to walk ungainly at first and then you learned to toddle and very soon you learned to run and your conscious mind will never know exactly when it was you learned any of those things and many people when they try to relax just never seem to get quite comfortable thinking they know all about relaxation and nobody can tell them how to do it and as you quickly learn how to drift effortlessly into trance as you relax there, here, while a part of your mind tries to understand the exact meaning of the words that you hear and of all the pleasant changes that occur there in your own thoughts, your own sensations and your own awareness as I speak to you here and you continue to drift down and what about those thoughts and those feelings? your awareness as I speak to you here and what you speak to yourself speaks for itself and a part of your mind can easily search to find that many things that seem to be one way often turn out to be another so there's nothing that you need to do or not to do because everything that you do will allow you to recognize that I can say many different things and there's no need for you to pay particular attention to each thing that I say or to anything I don't say because quickly there comes a time when the effort to try to hold the mind to stay on track is simply not worth the trip easier to go back to a time of peaceful calm awareness and now the conscious mind can go anywhere pleasant that it wishes while I continue to talk to your subconscious mind and the subconscious mind continues to listen, to hear and to understand, aware that you often overhear a conversation without even being fully aware that you even are. And you don't need to do anything at all because it all belongs to you as you relax now, the way that you do, eyes closed, comfortable with that voice in the background and you can know that every time you hear me say the word or the number two from this moment on then you'll automatically relax twice as much as what you already are whenever you do hear me say the word or the number two and it all belongs to you and to your ability to begin to know what you thought you didn't really know and although you may try to guess where you're going to go from here there's no way to know or even to let go while holding on and your subconscious mind knows I can say many different things and there's no need for your conscious mind to pay particular attention to each thing that I say or to anything I don't say because quickly there is a time when the effort to bother to hold the mind to stay on track is simply not worth the trip just let go now and follow my count from five four three two 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 one and now as you continue to let go more and more with each breath that you take and each word I say you can know that each time you use this program it will have a more and more beneficial effect upon you and for you you can also know that you cannot feel any discomfort at any level of your mind or body while you are using this program and if you needed to open your eyes and come fully alert at any time for any reason then you'll be able to do so easily, automatically and completely. And you have now become so deeply relaxed that your subconscious mind has become wide awake to listen, hear, understand and believe my every helpful suggestion and what it means in a way that will enable it to make the changes that you would like so you can quickly begin to notice that helpful and beneficial change can very easily happen in a clearly spontaneous way they will and now all you really need to do is to relax and let go and let it happen and as you do relax and let go and let it happen all of your subconscious thoughts all of your subconscious cares about your day-to-day -day and past experiences will just fade away 
Your mind can focus on my voice and allow all the other sounds and other influences to just drift away, continuing to return back to the deep relaxation of your body. And your body and mind are working together like never before. And you may not understand how your mind and body do work together, but you can understand that the teamwork between your mind and body can and will create some very remarkable and positive changes. The more relaxed, the more comfortable your body becomes, the easier it will be for you to enjoy this hypnotic experience. Feeling relaxed and comfortable, that's all you need to do and to focus your awareness on the sensations and feelings of letting go of any negative thoughts letting go of worries and fears, letting go of difficulties both physically and mentally and emotionally, focusing upon you, the most important person in your universe. There's nothing wrong with realizing your own importance, but if you don't take care of yourself, you won't be able to take care of others in your life. So there's nothing that you need to do or not to do because everything that you do will allow you to recognize that I can say many different things. And there's no need for your conscious mind to pay attention to each thing I say or to anything I don't say. Because quickly there is a time when the effort to hold the mind to stay on track is simply not worth the trip. Easier to drift the mind back to a time of peaceful calm awareness, effortlessly. Whether this is that or that is this or it is or isn't, can be, can't be, was or wasn't, may be or might be, right or wrong, none of that really matters just right now. And you are aware of everything and yet you're not completely aware right now. You are listening with your subconscious mind while your conscious mind can drift far away and not bother listening. Your subconscious mind is alert and listening and hearing everything I say while your conscious mind remains very relaxed like your body, peaceful and calm and doesn't even bother listening. And you can relax peacefully because your subconscious mind is taking charge. And when this happens, you simply let your subconscious mind do all the listening. And your subconscious mind knows and because your subconscious mind knows, your conscious mind presently doesn't need to know. And it can easily drift away and not mind in the least while your subconscious mind comes fully alert. And you have much potential in your subconscious mind which you don't have in your conscious mind. And you can remember everything that has ever happened to you with your subconscious mind, but you can't remember everything with your conscious mind and so you can forget so easily. And with forgetting certain things, you can remember other things. Remembering what you can remember and forgetting what you can forget and it doesn't matter if you temporarily forget because presently you need not remember. Because your subconscious mind remembers everything that you need to know. So you can let your subconscious mind listen and remember while your conscious mind drifts pleasantly and doesn't even bother listening. And now as you continue to listen to me with your subconscious mind, your conscious mind will sleep you deeper and deeper and deeper. And you can let your conscious mind drift deeper sleep while you allow your subconscious mind to listen to the sound of my voice and the meaning of my words. Now listen very carefully with your subconscious mind while your conscious mind drifts pleasantly to anywhere it wants to because your subconscious mind is taking charge. And when this happens, you just let your subconscious mind do all the listening. And so you've been to somewhere that was not as you expected, not as you had imagined, had experiences that went beyond what you thought they might, felt fear, saw horror, and stood in the face of it, where a second seemed to drag on for an eternity. And then you came back home with things that got burned in your mind that now seem to go on eternally. But here now in this present, we're going to create another and a new present for your future. Quickly, calmly, safely, and effectively. What is in your past will remain there, but will go to the back of your mind like some old, mostly forgotten movie less effect on you every day, less and less and your old, confident, 
happy, motivated, clear-thinking mind will quickly return as the unhelpful experiences from the past retreat. And you were never left behind. You came back, but the part of your mind that still thinks it is behind is going to fade from you and remain that way. What could have been is what never was, and what should have been is what wasn't. Then was then, and this is now. You are home to here, and the here and the now, not stuck back in the there and the then, could begin to find the part of you that is back. Let's go of what is not quite back. It will. Nobody let you down and nobody propped you up. And you've come to a point where certain things now feel distorted, like a rope tied in knots. And any knotted rope can be untied and so it will. New and better thinking. Priorities come back into order. A more relaxed emotional mind and body at all levels for you. The red alert is off and you are freed from the free fire zone. And so you are going to naturally come back to your natural self. Every day and every night more calm, more relaxed, more able to hold on easily with a clear mind and clear thinking. Not much point holding guilt and anguish for what you had to do because you know and I know too that among all the guilt and fear, there was also help and heroism, senses of joy and elation. Much good was done amongst the apparent bad. You can allow yourself to believe that. Why not? And so now you're home back to the same world, but somehow in a different way. What was once familiar to you is somehow now different. This is evidence in itself that the things and thoughts and feelings can change, they do. We're going to peel the distortions away from your mind and your body step by step by step in a way that will allow you a sense of freedom in the here and now from the shadows that have followed you back from the there and the then. Now listen very carefully with your subconscious mind, and I'm going to give your subconscious mind some very helpful and beneficial suggestions, and your subconscious mind will listen, hear, understand, and believe my every safe and beneficial suggestion and what it means, and transfer the helpful suggestions to your conscious mind, your emotional mind and your body mind in a safe and beneficial way so that you can begin to and continue to integrate yourself back to where you are and who you were again. You are. And any negative and fear-inspiring memories that float back to your conscious mind from back then will just stop. They will no longer be able to take any precedence on any level to distort your present reality as they attempt to drag you back to what is done and has passed. That is in the past and remains there, fading more and more from your conscious awareness until any of those memories and feelings are almost impossible to remember or feel, like some old forgotten toy that was once so very important to you in the past now just a faded childhood memory. You did nothing wrong. You did your service. You did your job. Your feet are back on safe ground now. Nothing to fear. No anxiousness to hold on to. Nothing to be afraid of anymore. Fine to think yourself a hero, even if nobody else could understand. Did you ever ask yourself the question, how could they? Now I'd like you to find yourself and your imagination in a long well-lit corridor. Maybe 50 meters long, maybe 500 meters long. It makes no difference. It's your corridor, safe and comfortable. Nothing in there that can harm you. And look to the end and you'll see a figure sleeping peacefully on a bed. Let your imagination help you. And I'm going to count slowly back from 10 to 1 and as I count I'd like you just to move towards that sleeping figure going deeper and deeper inside with each backward count. But I don't want you to get to that figure before I get to 1. 
Ready now from 10. 9. Nothing bothers you now. Nothing disturbs you. 8. 7. And as you get closer, 6. You will see that figure. 5. Is yourself. 4. Sleeping deeply and peacefully. 3. Free from the woes of the world. 2. Freed from the phantoms in the mind. 1. And now look at yourself sleeping there and see the rise and fall of your chest. And I'm going to count back from 3 to 1. And when I get to 1, I'd like you just to imagine that a tiny piece of your consciousness slips into that sleeping figure on an in-breath. I'd like you to slip inside your sleeping self and your imagination. Ready now from 3... Two, one, that's right, and as you go into yourself now, just imagine that you are ascending up, up into another long, well-lit corridor, and wander along there now and find a door with a light shining from underneath, with a sign on it that says Control Room. This is your control room. There is nothing in there that can harm you and you can feel zero emotions inside there. It is brightly lit in. Nobody else in there. Your place with an exit door. And there are many panels in there with buttons and dials and controls on them. And I'm going to count back from three to one. And when I get to one, I'd like you to go in there. Ready now from three, two, one, go into the control room now. Good, that's right. Now look around and see all of those panels with all of the buttons and the dials and gauges. Take your time. Get familiar. This is your place, your time, and it's for you. Now feeling zero emotion, find the button the dial or the gauge that says intrusive upsetting memories and turn it down or turn it off. They are. That's right. Now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says nightmares and turn it down or off. They are. And now, feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says intense trauma distress and turn it down or off. They are. Now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says pounding heart, rapid breathing, nausea, tension, and turn it down or off. They are. You're doing perfectly. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says unwarranted fear, avoidance, loss of interest. And turn it down or off, they are. Good, that's right. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button dial or gauge that says loss of interest in life and turn it down or off they are and now feeling zero emotion find the button 
the dial or the gauge that says feelings detached from others and emotionally numb and turn it down or off, they are. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says sense of a limited future and turn it down or off they are. That's right. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says increased anxiety and turn it down or off, they are. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says difficult sleeping and turn it down or off, they are. And now feeling zero emotion, Find the button, the dial or the gauge that says anger and irritability and turn it down or off, they are. That's right. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says poor concentration and turn it down or off, they are. And now feeling zero emotion, find the button, the dial or the gauge that says hypervigilance and turn it down or off, they are. And now look around and find another button that says happiness, balance and calm. And when you find the happiness, balance and calm button, dial or gauge, I want you to set it high. Turn it up and let it remain up, you will. Good, that's right. And you can know that at any time, anywhere, where you may feel the need, when you may feel the need, you can simply close your eyes and take a slow deep breath and go immediately back to that place in that control room, your control room, and adjust any unhelpful memories or feelings that you may have. You can simply adjust them away. And now I'm going to count back from 10 to one, and I'd like you to head for the exit door, open it, it will lead you to a peaceful, tranquil place where your thoughts can drift you pleasantly while I give your subconscious mind some very positive and helpful suggestions. And you have now become so deeply relaxed that your subconscious mind has become fully alert. And so your subconscious mind will listen, hear, understand and believe my every safe and helpful suggestion and integrate it within you to get you back to the path to that great life that you wish to have, that you can easily have, and that soon you will have. Ready now, go deeper, deeper and deeper down from 10. Nine, and you may become rather intrigued. Eight, seven, as to just how deep into a relaxed hypnotic place six you can so easily go. Five, you can, however, go as deeply into trance. Four, as what your subconscious mind thinks you should go. Three, two, one. And from now on, and permanently into the future, you're going to find that you move further and further away in your conscious mind and your emotional mind from the effects of your service and from what you experienced over there that followed you like a shadow back to here. You are now in the sun again, and like underneath a midday sun, a shadow cannot be cast. So you stand tall. 
and there are aspects of your training and service that you can find and adopt to integrate you back to the here and now, back to the here and now life from the there and the then life, strengths deep inside that you can draw upon, and you know and I know too that you can adapt, you can improvise and you can overcome, and so you will, will you not? You were trained to do this in the past. And every day, often without any particular reason for it, you are going to find you become and that you remain more calm, more at peace, more stable and more able to hold on easily, no matter how difficult or trying anything may seem to be at the time. Heroes don't need to feel guilt. No valid reason for that, and you are a hero. You served heroically, and you know that to be true, and I know it too. Stand strong in your own truth, you can. You do. And any pictures from the past that appear in your mind from the there and the then will rapidly fade and have no power anymore in the here and the now. You're going to find in a perfectly natural way that every day you become and you remain much calmer, more self-satisfied, more attuned to what you can do for yourself and to those closest to you in the future, more than restricted by things, issues and happenings from the past. Time to take an about turn and focus back to your future and the many things that you can do Yes, you will. And you'll find that you sleep deeply and comfortably at night without the need for repetitious nightmares inspired by feelings of fear from the past that no longer have any place in the present or into the future. Any and all negative feelings and shadows from the past are simply going to comfortably fade comfortably from your mind. You are going to begin to and continue to flow calmly and confidently into your future, like a rebirth again of who you were. To become that again, you can and you do. Yes, you will. And you know that when you're hurting or miserable, you don't realize any hidden benefits that soon arise from the suffering. Because through the process of suffering, and almost always without having any conscious awareness of it, through the process of suffering, you change inwardly. You can become stronger, no pain, no gain. And so as you go through the turmoils of life, the pain, the fears, the hurt, the worry, the loneliness, the detachment, you actually grow stronger, much stronger. Stronger internally you grow, as though because of adversity and suffering you're made stronger inside and more immune to some things because you've been through them now. And so you begin to change, often without realizing it. Develop a greater sense of compassion and empathy for others who suffer. And learn to appreciate the without unpleasant experiences in life you wouldn't be able to so fully enjoy and truly appreciate how wonderful the good and happy times really are. And now your subconscious mind will use its tremendous and immense power to let all of the past negativity go, flow comfortably away. That's right. And you will begin to feel an inward strength developing deep in your being as you continue daily to realize just how easy all of that suffering is to get over and to leave behind you. As they say, a smooth sea never made a skillful sailor. And you know that's true. And how easy indeed it will be for you to realize and come to believe that your pains and struggles have actually made you stronger, have they not? Like a tree strengthened by wind. Painful experiences for a foundation of strength. So therefore deep inside you will have a comfortable, sensible inner knowing and inner strength because knowing as you do that you have survived what you have survived, 
you'll now have the strength to cope with anything that may come along. And because you will now have a new, better, more relaxed, conscious and subconscious attitude and beliefs, you'll soon be very happy to notice how much more positive and motivated you'll quickly become. And you will enjoy new and better attitudes towards yourself and others because your subconscious mind will use its immense and powerful influence and enable you to easily let go of all of those outworn, unnecessary, unwanted habits and thoughts and belief. Your subconscious mind will safely let go of all of that unwanted, unnecessary, negative clutter from the past that has confused the conscious and emotional minds too often and too easily. The war is over. The subconscious mind can let it all go and replace it with a pleasant feeling of release and relief. You can know that from now on you will have a much more calm, more positive, more confident and more understanding mind, actions and reactions. And you will more easily be able to tolerate the people the places and the things that used to disturb or annoy you. They won't bother you anymore or any longer. No, they won't. Because from now on you'll be able to easily and happily adjust to your environment. Because you know most things are too hard to change and you know the easiest way to change anything is to change your own attitude. You know, inner feelings, from outside reflections, and past happenings. It's obvious, is it not, that the only way to change for the better is to think better, more relaxed, more confident, more happy, non-past opinionated thoughts, the kind of thoughts that you will think from now on, the kind of new and better thoughts from a new and better thought pattern. New and better thoughts mean a new and better life for you. Do they not? Yes, they do. And as you feel the new and better thoughts from your newer and better thought patterns improve you more and more each day, then every day you'll find yourself better able to feel happy and comfortable and in complete control and to easily achieve for yourself that picture of yourself that you have in your mind's eye as you want to be again as you can easily be, as you will begin to become from now on. And you'll be able to easily control all of your emotions and all of that unnecessary, unwanted, destructive anger is now totally and completely gone. You didn't need it, you don't want it, and now it is completely, totally and absolutely gone because now your subconscious mind has comfortably released that anger. And so now the opinions of other people will not bother or affect you, they won't. And you will confidently stand up strong on your own two feet, marching forward, always creating a better, more motivated, more relaxed, more self-appreciative and much happier life for yourself Yes, you will. And since you've been home, you've had some dreams in your mind. But your mind has felt distorted and detached. Dreams of some things that you wanted to make happen for your future. But with those dreams and desires, you've attached a motto. Something you probably learned when you were very, very young. A simple five-word motto that has allowed you to continue marching in circles, wandering like you're lost, enabling you to cop out of anything that requires balance and effort. And that five-word motto was, I would if I could. Well, I would if I could is finished for you now. It is over and done and finished and gone. And we are going to replace it deep inside your being with a newer, better, more powerful, more simple two-word motto and belief. And the two words that will go through your mind comfortably many times whenever you may face a challenge or feel a little imbalanced. 
The two words, your new motto is I can. And now you will know that you can, can you not? Yes, you will. And you're going to begin to and continue to feel much more comfortable and much more self-understanding about your past. Because your past has been a very valuable piece of learning for you. A very important span of experience. And now your subconscious mind will enable you to understand that that past is gone. It can't be changed, but it is gone and gone forever. And you're going to keep the pieces of your past that you like and agree with. But any issues, any happenings, any fears, or anything that you don't like about your past emotional reactions or self-defeating programs, those things are no longer yours. And now you'll understand and remember those things. But your conscious mind, your emotional mind, and your subconscious mind are going to reject and accept those issues that you desire to be gone as over and done and finished and gone. Those things are not yours anymore or any longer. And that old, outworn, unwanted, unnecessary motto, I would if I could, is finished and gone now. And you're going to begin to make each day happen in your way with your new and better, more simple, more powerful motto and belief, I can. Can you not? Yes, you will. I would if I could is finished for you. And I can begins. And failure and fear does not have any power over you anymore. Only success, only moving forward and only from now on. And you have now become so deeply and pleasantly relaxed that every single thing that I have said to you for your own good and general well-being will remain with you, even when you are not listening here with me, regardless of what is happening around you, regardless of where you are. And soon I'm going to begin to bring you back and to bring you back from this deep trance as I do, and when you are back, you are simply and quite naturally going to reassume the happy you yourself, the person from the past who you wish to be, the person who feels then again, as you want to feel again now, you will. And you are going to notice that your thoughts are going to become and remain much more positive towards yourself and your many talents and abilities and positive and balanced thoughts will come back to the fore and you are simply not going to allow yourself to become sad, depressed or anxious or immersed into any of those things from the past that have been haunting you in the here and the now that is all over and done replaced by a natural happiness that was always there is always here you may even begin to wonder why you allowed yourself to feel how you were then. And this will happen because you are going to automatically think better of yourself, your past, your future, and find the joy that you're entitled to all around you, for you and for those that you are closest to. And soon I'm going to bring you back, and as I bring you back, your subconscious mind will transfer all of these positive, relevant new learnings to your conscious mind and your emotional mind. And when you come back, they will all be very real to you, and your conscious and emotional minds will believe them. They will be real to you, and you will believe them and act according to what best suits your own desired outcomes. You'll accept and believe all the new learnings and act accordingly in a safe, happy, positive and beneficial way. And to bring you back to full alertness, I'm going to count slowly from 1 to 10. And with each forward count, you'll come a little more alert. Your eyes can remain comfortably closed until I get to 10. Then when I do get to 10, I'll click my fingers. Your eyes will open and you'll come back to a complete full alertness feeling as if you had a very brief, helpful and beneficial sleep. You'll be refreshed, alert and feeling pleasantly happy. And now you can get ready to come back from one, feeling just fine, 
two, you can realize that change always happens and you're changed back to the here and the now from the there and the then. Three, safe, comfortable, motivated for the future. Four, cheerful, happy and confident. Five, six, your physical body comes back to full and pleasant sensation. Seven, nearly here, your conscious mind comes clear and fully alert. Eight, feeling pleasant. Nine, nearly back. Ten, eyes open, fully alert, feeling fine. Thank you. 